Turning now to a toddler tragedy, a South Florida community mourning the death of a three-year-old boy after he was accidentally left inside a hot car. Police say the tragic accident happened right outside a preschool where both his parents work. Now the child's reportedly one of several children from the same family who attend Lubavitch Educational Center. Tonight we have live team coverage. CBS 4's Ivan Cabrera standing by with a breakdown on the scorching temperatures of that tragic day. But first, CBS 4's Joe Murray joins us now with a life-saving warning for all parents. Joe. And certainly a difficult day for everybody here at the center. Grief counselors were on hand. We are learning new information tonight from the Miami Gardens Police Department and the medical examiner. It's terrifying, especially South Florida. I mean, it's not just a summer problem here. A parent's worst fears becoming reality when a three-year-old dies in a hot car outside the Lubavitch Educational Center where his parents worked. I, oh my gosh, I don't know. Parents in disbelief Tuesday as more details emerge on how the toddler died. Miami Gardens police telling us the three year old was left in the vehicle by his father. No charges have been filed and the investigation is ongoing. A vehicle acts like a greenhouse and it heats up very quickly and, uh, and to really dangerous temperatures within minutes for a young child. The Miami-Dade medical examiner confirming the three-year-old cause of death was hyperthermia, an overheated body, the manner of death accident. Amber Rollins is director of kids and car safety. The younger the child, the less capable they are of regulating their own body temperature. So an infant is going to overheat much quicker than a toddler. A toddler will overheat much quicker than uh, a teenager and so forth. <laughs> It's something parent Heather Carnival is acutely aware with her two year old son in the back seat. She keeps her rear view mirror on him at all times and she's always checking. And I plenty of times have <coughs> driven home because I work from home from his uh, daycare and I, I just check and I make sure it's empty. But many brand new cars are equipped to alert parents. Carlos Izagu at Tropical Chevrolet showed us how after the back door is opened and the driver stops, they get a message saying to look in the back seat. It's an extra step that you add basically when you turn off the car that prevents you to leave, you know, somebody in the back seat. And this text sent to the driver of a 2019 Lexus telling them to check the rear seat. Now, we did learn that an assistant state attorney, as is customary, was on hand here to confer with the Miami Gardens Police Department while this investigation began yesterday. And at this point, now that the autopsy is complete, that a review process is ongoing to determine whether any charges will be filed. We'll keep you updated. In Miami Gardens tonight, Joan Murray, CBS4 News. Joan, just heartbreaking. And yesterday's tragedy, one of many that have occurred here in Florida in the last 10 years, 41 children have died after being left in hot cars. And of those, 14 happened in South Florida. There was at least one death every year from 2012 to 2022, with the exception of 2014 and 2020. The ages of those children range from six months to four years old. And our team coverage continues tonight with CBS4 Next Weather Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Cabrera with some perspective perspective into yesterday's tragic accident. Ivan, such an incredibly horrible loss, so close to home. Can you tell us what the temperatures were like in Miami Gardens at that time yesterday? Yeah, I'm talking about 90s and 100s, and you talk to parents, and everybody says, well, I, I, that wouldn't happen to me. Obviously, it happens uh, every year, unfortunately, here, and these temperatures is what we had, 347. All right, so these are the air temperatures without factoring in the humidity. We had temps in the lower 90s in Miami Springs. Now, watch what happens uh, when I put the heat index here. This is how it felt to us outside right outside of a car. Uh, check this out here. It's just an oven effect. We always say that and I reiterate it every year because it just keeps on happening. 93 degrees. Uh, what is that going to make it feel like inside a closed car? Well, 109 in 10 minutes. Half an hour, you're at 124 and then 133 in 60 minutes. Uh, and it just it continues to, to climb a little bit more each hour. But obviously, once you get into these temperatures here, uh, not just a child, but anybody and certainly uh, pets, we talk about that all the time uh, as well. It just uh, you, you can't uh, survive that. So we always remind folks, do whatever you can to uh, check in the back here.